Welcome to the $100 MBA Show, and today is a Q&A weekend episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask, we'll answer it right here. Just email us at contact at 100mba.net, or you can use our Speak It option where you record your question. We'll play it right here on the show, on the air, and you can check that out at 100mba.net slash show. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's question comes from Hank. And Hank asks, I don't have an idea. Can I still get started with my business? I love this unique question because a lot of people want to be great entrepreneurs. They want to build a business, but they really haven't nailed a great idea to build their business around it. But they want to get started. So how do you get started when you don't have an idea yet in place? Let's talk about it. I'm going to give it to you straight, Hank, and to everybody who's listening. So let's get down to business. This episode of the $100 MBA show is brought to you by Nadex, binary options trading. Our listeners appreciate just how far $100 can go, and so does Nadex. With just $100, you can get started. With Nadex Binary Options, you trade on whether you think the market will be above or below a certain point by a certain time. Go to Nadex.com and open up a free account. That's Nadex, N-A-D-E-X.com. Futures, options, and swaps trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. There are two things you need to have a business on your hands. One is a product, something to sell. But the second is an audience. If you don't have people that are interested in what you do and what you offer and what you could do to change or help their life via a product or a service, then you have nobody to sell your product to. And this relates to Hank's question today, which is, I don't have an idea yet. Can I get started with my business? And the answer is yes, you can get started. And I encourage you to get started right now because maybe you don't have a product yet, but you still can build an audience. And you need that audience because a product with no audience is useless because no one's actually looking at what you're selling. So there's actually two schools of thought when it comes to this idea of a product and an audience. Some people believe that you should build your product first, then build your audience. The other half believes you build the audience first, then the product. And then there's actually a third one. I know I said two, but there is a third one, which is to do both at the same time. Now, personally, I think that building your audience first really helps you build a better product, and that's kind of the method that has worked best for Nicole and I. So how does this relate to your question, Hank? Well, you don't have a product yet. You don't have an idea that you want to implement which you can offer for a price tag, right? But that's okay. You don't have to sell anything to start a business. You can start by creating great content. By writing about the certain things that you think people are struggling with and how you can help them, by giving them great information. You may not have an exact product there or exact idea, but you should have a general market or a general audience you're trying to serve. You know you want to do something in the home and gardening kind of genre. And you know you want to cater to a certain audience. Let's say, for example, that audience is retired individuals above the age of 55. So you have a general idea of what you're going to be talking about, a genre and a target audience, an age group or a certain person you're talking to. That's going to get more and more narrow as you develop your message, as you start growing and discovering who you're really serving. But you can get started with a blog. You can start writing blog posts on those topics and seeing what resonates with your audience, seeing what works, seeing what people are struggling with, see what strikes people, what hits a nerve. And you're starting your content creation and content marketing that is so important in developing a strong business and brand awareness. You could do this also with video. You could do this with audio, with a podcast. You could do this with infographics. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a blog, but you can start creating content where you can present to an audience and hopefully you can get some feedback from them so you can find out what they're struggling with and then you can get your product ideas from there. This really works. There is a blog post that Nicole and I have gotten a lot of traffic on, and we're starting to think maybe we should create a small product that really digs deep and helps our audience with that area. We know that people are interested in it because it got a lot of traffic. There's a lot of comments on that blog post, and it got shared a lot on social media. A lot of people think it's compelling enough to share. 
So we have some data, we have some proof that there is interest in this area. So if we developed a small product to test the waters to see if somebody would be interested in this, this is not something that we're building based on false information. We're building it based on solid information and feedback from our users and our readers. And you could do the same. You could do the same even if you don't have the idea. We didn't have this idea beforehand, but it came through how things resonate with our audience or how much things resonate from our audience. Plus, being a great entrepreneur is not only about one idea. It's about building a certain set of skills. And by getting started, by communicating your ideas, by writing, by blogging, by creating videos, you start building your body of work. You start becoming an entrepreneur. You start becoming who you need to be to be successful. So please do not delay that process. Get started as soon as possible and the product ideas will develop in themselves and they should come from the audience. That way you know for sure it's something that they'd be willing to pay money for. Guys, I have more when it comes to building a business before you even have a product idea. But before that, I gotta give love to today's sponsor. I know many of you are struggling to find new customers. Trust me, I've been there. Most contact lists are outdated and don't have sales leads that are right for your business. But let me tell you about a service I found that makes selling easy. It's called infofree.com. Small businesses and sales professionals love infofreeze.com hot sales leads because the company compiles and triple verifies its own data. In fact, Infofree updates its sales leads on a weekly and monthly basis. You'll always have access to the most current contact information. You'll spend more time selling and less time looking for customers. Do you want to reach prospects with phone, email, or direct mail? Infofree has you covered with its database of 14 million businesses and 220 million customers. It gives you the power to target the specific leads that are right for your business. And Infofree's free mobile app gives you the ability to access all your sales leads and research any business before you call. Use the app on your iPhone or Android to qualify your leads within seconds. Infofree.com is giving you a 30-day risk-free trial of its services. Just go to infofree.com slash MBA. If you want to double your sales, head on over to infofree.com slash MBA. Part of every great entrepreneur's journey is that thrash, is that digging of figuring out what their idea is, what they're going to be doing, how they're going to serve their people, how they're going to serve their audience. So starting that procedure of finding that out, of doing the digging, discovering who you are going to be as an entrepreneur is important. Get started. I remember when I went through that, it's a huge challenge, but it's so rewarding because you realize there's certain things you have to ask yourself and go through in order to find out how you're going to serve your audience, find out what's the best thing to do, what are some of the issues that you can solve for them. So getting started with that by creating content for them and seeing what resonates with them is a great way to go through that discovery process. Hank, I really hope that helps and that my answer to your question has helped you as well as everybody that's listening to The $100 MBA Show. Guys, again, if you have a question that you want answered on Q&A weekends, just email us at contact at 100mba.net or use our speak it option where you can record your question. We'll play right here on the air. And you can find that at 100mba.net slash show. Guys, don't forget that we have a whole new podcast called Webinar Ninja, how to teach, present, sell, and communicate effectively with your audience using webinars. It's a fun podcast that we love doing. You could check it out on iTunes. Just search Webinar Ninja subscribe and hear some of our latest episodes. You'll learn how webinars can really help build your business and how you can do it today, right now. What are some of the strategies you can use? The $100 MBA goes on every single day, seven days a week. Webinar Ninja is just an addition to our production. We hope you love it. Guys, I want to leave you with this. I want to applaud all you guys that have sent in questions. It's really, really great to hear from you guys. I also want to applaud you because it takes some courage to ask for some help to say, hey, I have a question. I need some help. Can you answer this question? You know, Hank had to go out of his way and ask a question, ask, I don't have an idea right now. How can I get started? Can I get started with my business? And he's getting an answer and he's getting some help and he can move forward now. And I really think that's noteworthy. And I think that is it's a lesson in its own that when you need help, just ask for it. Because that's how you move forward. And I want to let you guys know that Nicole and I are here to help you in any way we can. Send us a question. If you need some feedback, you need some help, we would love to help you out. 
And by helping you and sharing our answers on the show, we help other people as well. So thank you all for asking questions, and I encourage you all to keep on sending them in. You can also ask questions via Twitter. You can tweet at me, at BizRepublic, B-I-Z, Republic. And that way I can be connected with you on Twitter as well. All right, guys, I'll check you in tomorrow's episode, which is a guest teacher episode. You're going to love it. It's with a great entrepreneur and writer, Jeff Goins. And he's going to teach you how failure can lead to success. I can't wait for that. I'll see you then, guys. Take care.